Hello, my name is Steve Bowler, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at firewall filters. Specifically, within firewall filter, what we're going to look at in this lab is how to count and log traffic on an interface. So if you were with me on the first Juniper firewall filter lab number one, we learned how to set up a basic firewall filter and showed you why you would use a firewall filter. In this lab, we're going to extend some of the capabilities of a firewall filter. We're going to show you how you can count traffic going across a firewall filter and also how to log this traffic so you can see this traffic. And again, these two techniques are used and can be used for troubleshooting issues within a network and they come in very handy in doing so. So as you can see with this lab, this is based off of our BGP Lab 1. So all this configuration was done in BGP Lab 1 and also the first firewall filter lab, which is firewall filter lab 1. So all of this, this network topology is already set up. We have R1, R2, and R3 set up. R1 and R2 are connected via logical tunnels 12 on R1 and 21 on R2 via the 12 network. And router 2 and router 3 are connected together logically via logical tunnel 23 on R2 and logical tunnel 32 on router 3. So these are three logical systems, R1, R2, and R3, created in one physical Juniper router. So we also advertised on R1 into Autonomous System 100 and BGP, the 1 network and the 11 network. We also advertised on R3 into Autonomous System 300. We advertised in the 3 network and the 33 network. So we have three autonomous systems, Autonomous System 100, which is R1, Autonomous System 200, which is R2, and Autonomous System 300, which is R3. So in this lab, we're going to again show you how to count and log traffic on an interface using a firewall filter. Let's go ahead and get into router 3. We'll do the command set CLI logical system R3. So all of these labs, it's important to point out, you can do all these labs using physical, real physical interfaces and real physical routers. However, for simplicity, we're just going to do this using logical tunnels. So this technique can be done using logical systems and logical tunnels to do so. However, it can also be done using physical routers and connections between them as well. Just wanted to let you know just in case you were wondering. Let's get into router 3 and if we do a show configuration you can see that we have from last time from our last firewall filter lab which was firewall filter lab number one we have our filters already set up we have a block ICMP and we also have the filter block BGP. Now if we look under under the interface and it as we remembered in firewall filter lab number one, the filter is applied to a logical interface either in the inbound or outbound direction under a specific family. In this case, IPv4, we applied this inbound on R3 to unit 32 under family INET. And that's exactly what we're going to do in this lab as well when we're showing you how to count and log this traffic. So